Hello, I am Tom Hockett, the Director of Business Development at Discover IT Risks, a division of uh, Discover Net. We have with us the President and Founder, Sean Hewlin, to discuss our IT security audit process and why a small and medium-sized business should be considering regular security audits as well as ongoing monitoring as part of a business's continuity strategy. Welcome, Sean, and thank you for joining us. Thank you, Tom. Okay, so let's start with some facts that uh, emphasize why business owners and senior managers need to uh, take security really seriously and be proactive in this battle. In their annual report on privacy governance, Ernst & Young reported a 160% increase in cyber incidents in Canada last year. Also, as of 2014, cyber attacks hit 36% of Canadian businesses, and I'm sure that number is much higher these days, three years later. Ernst & Young also reported that the average cost of data breach is about $6 million. So assuming the large companies are included in that $6 million figure, so my question, and even if the number is a $1 million for a small, medium-sized enterprise, how many companies do you think could weather this type of a storm these days? I don't really think there's many. There are so many challenges and resulting disruptions from a breach, the dollars will just begin to add up and add up. You're initially going to see a big chunk of money, but it's that death by a thousand paper cuts near the end when you find out a year later that all of your employees' personal information has been stolen as well. Um, so it's just really not a place you want to go. So we talk about the IT security audit as being one of our major offerings. What is an IT security audit? Well, the audit is there to go around and identify areas in which your security might be prone to some vulnerabilities. But it, it really goes through your network, your devices, what's connected to your network. We even have questions about what your password policy, access policies, employee termination policies, things like that. So, you know, you don't have just gaping holes, and that's okay to have holes. But as long as you know about them, you can decide what you're going to do with them. So why would a small, medium-sized company want or need an audit? Well, part of that is to have owners, senior management, really understand what their risk exposure is uh, and what their vulnerabilities are. Because once you know what they are, you can now decide to take action on those. Clients find that the reports that we give management sort of give you a full picture of your security situation really allows you to make the best decision you can going forward for your business. Why else would they need an audit? Uh, we have uh, a set of customers that actually use it to attract investors. So when they are looking for funding, uh, some of those investors are make, wanting to make sure that the environment is secure, the intellectual property that the, the investor is looking to acquire or buy into is protected, that there's not going to be any, any hacking or any malicious activity going on to potentially ruin that deal. And how do IT uh, security audits and monitoring fit into a business continuity planning for a company? So the overall continuity plan, you know, that's the what what is your business doing today, what is, you know, what is your downtime that you can live with, what are the costs associated with that, and when there is a disaster, how do we recover from that and how long? So the IT audits and the monitoring help us with that centerpiece of the identification of possible risks and possible holes and possible exposure to your company. Now, when we do a security audit, hopefully what we'll end up doing is taking that report, identifying all the things that the business wants to fix, and we go ahead and fix it, whether that's you know your customer, or your internal IT department fixing it, or you ask us to do that remediation, you get it to a point where you're happy. Then the ongoing monitoring makes sure that all those policies and procedures that we put in place stay in place and monitors any new things that come into the environment, whether that's a device, whether that's a policy change, whether someone's changed security from, you know, they didn't have access to the payroll folder and now they do. So those types of things get picked up in the monitoring. So it's like a financial audit that a company is required to run on occasion. We want to make sure the doors and the windows are locked and that management is aware of the risks that they're exposed to. 
Doing business impact analytics along with a security audit allows companies to set priorities, strategy, and plans based on facts and current risk exposure. Should companies with both internal IT resources and those with third-party IT services providers run these audits? Yes, it is important to fully understand the risks. They can be exposed to things, and we feel that a third-party audit process provides the framework and an objective and productive discussions to come up with solutions to fix those holes. Okay, so what type of information do clients receive in a security audit? We've got network management reports, which cover network attached devices, desktops to see, you know, do they have the latest security patches on any software that they're running, looks for access points, wireless devices that may or may not have security associated with them. We look at your firewall. We'll look at user access. Right. And by the way, we have sample reports that we can send anybody that's looking to run one of these audits. 20% of the people are good. They've got, you know, plans in place to, they've got a continuity plan. They've got some sort of, of monitoring in place. And, you know, you might find some discussions around tweaking some of their policies just to make it a little bit more secure, right to, you know, everyone has admin access to everything and they're running old software and they're, you know, not running a firewall. So, uh, the, that 80% of the people group really, really needs to start to take a hard look at that because you're not only protecting your information, you're protecting your employees' personal information as well. And your customers, too, obviously, too. That's right. Yeah, customers and partners, absolutely. Yeah. I know we, we want to encourage companies to run these audits fairly regularly, but how much is a, a proper audit? So to start with the audit now, this is non-HIPAA, PCI compliance, right? So that's definitely a different level. But if you need to talk to us, because that's a much more in-depth. But, you know, 90% of the people that we run into, they fall into the category of the basic audit, which is, you know, five devices, and it's $700 to run the audit and have a review meeting. And then under 20 devices, it's 900 So a company does an IT security audit. What next and what else can DiscoverNet provide to help keep the company protected? So once the audit's done, we review uh, the points of that document. From that, we come out with a prioritized action plan. And if you don't have an internal IT department to take care of that or a third party to take care of those action items, we can come in and help remediate those and fix it up so you're not, you don't have these gaping holes in your, in your company from an IT perspective. And then from there, we can have ongoing monitoring and support to make sure that if another hole pops up or another one is discovered, that we can go in and take a look at it and fix it right away. And that, that's pretty much how we've been, been operating that way. Customers seem to like those types of arrangements. Okay. And you've been doing that for about 20 years? Yeah, we've been doing this uh, <laughs> a good long time. So I guess it's like we're playing defense for a company so that the company's people will have more time to play offense and uh, score more goals for the company, I guess. Okay, so thank you, uh, Sean, for guiding us through why small and medium-sized businesses should run an IT security audit as well as do ongoing monitoring. If you have any questions and would like to schedule an IT security audit for your company or any of your clients, we'd love to talk to you. I hope you gained from this listening to this interview with Sean Hewlin and myself, Tom Hockett. We thank you for your time.